Hello, hello. We are here. My name is Brett Caldwell. I'm here with my friend Natasha Tello. Natasha, how are you? All is well here. Yeah, so we're going to talk about goal setting to the now. Help me frame that topic. Yeah, so when I think about that, it's it's what is our plan? It doesn't matter the time of the year. It's it's what is our plan and what's driving us? So I love to talk about goal setting and starting with our why. Yeah. So we're actually going to give everybody a five-step process to setting goals. Um, we're not going to teach you how to do it. We're going to talk to you about the process. But before we get to the five steps, you already said it. Like, there's this blanket on top of all of this, which is called the why. Help me understand that. It's really what's driving us, right? What what motivates and drives us to get up and accomplish what we want to accomplish, whether it's on a daily basis, a monthly basis, annually, or even into the future. Yeah. That's the why. And sometimes we don't know it, and sometimes we're learning it, and it changes. Oh, uh, different phases of our life, we're motivated by different things, right? 100%. And I think a lot of people tend to think it has to be that North Star uh thing in the sky that's like gravitationally pulling us to it but the reality is just what's emotionally causing energy inside of us what gets us out of bed excited in the morning what allows us to go to bed fulfilled at night because we accomplished so many great things but that emotional why is probably one of the biggest secret ingredients in the cake of success it is. I think uh, if you polled or you you know went into the DNA of all high performers, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see one of two things. It's the why that's driving them. And the question is, is the why something that they're running towards pleasure? Because most people think we run towards pleasure. The truth is most of our whys is because we're running from pain. We don't want to go yeah. back to something or we don't want to experience something, whatever that something is. And that's Absolutely. the why that drives us forward. Or we don't want our loved ones to experience something of yeah. pain either. Right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, anyway, it's likewise. worthy of a conversation. Uh, we certainly would uh, encourage uh, you to research Simon Sinek. He does some great work on helping people discover their whys. Um, but the five things that you need to understand and engage in goal setting to the now, number one is what's called a GPS. It stands for goals, priorities, and strategies. It is a one page business plan. Natasha, why is that the place we start? That is the place we start because that's the roadmap. That gives us the big picture. I want you to think it's the 20 foot view of what that next season is going to be. And it yeah. gives you the one page plan. And why is it one page? Because a lot of people think that's gotta be complicated, multiple pages, lots of binders and books truth is it needs to be one page you can keep it in front of you you can see it and it's actionable yeah absolutely well what's interesting about that uh that one page business plan it usually has a time frame of 12 months and we've learned over the years that human nature a lot of things change in 12 months in a year so our brains don't stay focused that long sometimes. So there's this second layer, which is number two, which is actually the 12 week year. And it's the concept of taking the one year business plan and breaking it into quarters where we can hyper focus on creating success in a, uh, in a time frame that we believe we can control. How do you think about it? I look at it this way. Not everybody is comfortable planning out that full year. It, it, it feels overwhelming to some. Yeah. And so if that's if that's you right now, don't think about, oh my gosh, what's going to happen for an entire year? Think about what am I going to do for that first quarter of the year? And yeah. what am I going to, you know, what are the things I'm going to put in to instill and to create that sense of urgency and to create that momentum such that I hit it? Yeah. It's like if, if the thought of running a marathon is overwhelming to you, could you get your head wrapped around running a 5K? What is the length or distance you can get your head wrapped around where you can stay focused and on task and accomplish great things? The 12 week year speaks to the 5K people. Absolutely. 
That's in that analogy. I love it. All right. <laughs> Our next tool, uh, number three is actually called the 411. Natasha, you take this. So what does 411 stand for? It is four weeks, one month and one year. You're really taking what you've put on that GPS and you're breaking that down into monthly and weekly goals for yourself. Yeah. One of the ways I've heard it uh, explained is the 411 is your weekly accountability tool to make sure your one page business plan happens. And, and it's more of a working document. It has an ebb and a flow to it as you're going through your year or your month or your week as you're trying to accomplish and working towards living that big life. The next yeah, thing- I, I would say before we wrap that part up, I would just say it's not a to-do list. It's your must-dos and it is a, a measuring stick. I look at it as a measuring stick. Am I, a, am I at my goal or am I behind? That allows me to make adjustments really quick. I love it. The fourth tool, which sounds pretty elementary, but it's calendar. It's calendar and time block. I mean, in order to live a big life, you have to be structured and you have to have an organized approach, which talks about time. And until you can control or gain control of your time, you're never going to find your way to success. Uh, the calendar, Natasha, I mean, it, it is everything, no? It is everything. If it's not on your calendar and it doesn't exist, I think the I think time blocking and calendaring is the one equalizer because it's the one thing we all have exactly the same of. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't have more than 24 hours in my day. And yet, why are some people so much more accomplished or successful or they can just get so much more done? Because they're living by a calendar. Yeah. And it's, it's one of the things we don't like to give up control of because we, we like to own our calendar, right? But the truth is, is once you let go of control of that calendar, it actually gives you freedom of, of time. And that's what's so amazing about it. But our fifth, uh, fifth tool or fifth uh, thing that you need to engage around for goal setting together now is a book. And it's a book called Atomic Habits. And this book speaks to the day-to-day -day things that cause success to happen. My life changed when I read the book. How about yours? Absolutely. And it's on Audible. So if you don't want to read with your eyes, listen with your ears. It's actually a good one for Audible. I love it. So those are the five things. Your one-page business plan, your GPS, the 12-week year, if you need to break it down into smaller segments, your 411 to hold it all accountable and to keep you on task as you're going from week to week. And then of course, you've got to be purposeful about your calendar and time blocking. And fifth but not least, the way you think and approach your habits in life has everything to do with how you play the game. And Natasha, that's how you win big. Absolutely. And then if I would put a bow on it, then it's the who, right? Do you have a who that's helping you with all of this? Absolutely. I mean, and, and by when, right? Like, when are you going to get all this stuff done by? Okay. So our three questions for you to discuss in the room. Question number one is how, how are you going to approach this process of getting your business plan together, your uh, 12 week year, your 411, all these things, how are you going to get this done? Awesome. So once you've done it, now it's the who. So who is going to help you and who's going to help hold you accountable to it? Absolutely. Don't go at this alone, right? No, absolutely not. Question number three, you need to put a timeline on it. So the question is when, when are you going to have this accomplished by? Because without the deadline, it'll just be a working document that never gets done. So Love Natasha, it. I'm excited to share these tools. Um, and, and this is the way to unlock a big life, right? Goal setting to the now. That's you want to grow. That's what you got to begin with. Make it happen.